Tyler Wong. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, due unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukah Kadash. Give double honors to the Apostle God, the great millstone. And nothing forbid to the birds teaching and preaching the truth all, all over the globe worldwide. To come back at you with another lesson. And basically, the title of this lesson is that every knee is going to bow to the name of Yahweh Shah, who wants you and, uh, and, and if you uh, ask, uh, if you listen to uh, the Christians when they read this, when they read Philippians chapter two, you know, roughly around verse uh, nine and ten, you know, what I'm saying yeah, they they believe that every, you know, every tongue, you know, every nation can be saved. They read the scripture in, in, in their mind. They believe that uh that uh every knee is gonna bow, every tongue gonna confess on this side in the name of you know white Jesus, Jesus Christ, you know what I'm saying? You know, and and, and, and people got it all stuff. Number one, but it talks the scripture talking about, you know, every every knee is not gonna Every day, not gonna bow to that name because the name Jesus Christ is a false name. You know what I'm saying? That's not the Savior's name. That this name that you know that every day is gonna bow, every tongue is gonna confess to from uh, for, you know blonde hair, blonde hair, and blue eye, or uh, devil. You know you're gonna be sad and mistaken. Uh, every day, not gonna bow. White, white, uh, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed devil. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you got Christians all messed up and they got all messed up because in their mind, they believe that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess about, you know, Jesus Christ. And guess what? That's not the case at all. Because in, in this particular sense, ain't nobody going to be bowed down to no white image, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and here it is that you got our people, God, this Christianity, you know, to destroy their lives, man. Because in their mind, they believe that every knee is going to bow to some white hair, or, or blonde hair, blue eyed, uh, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed devil. You know, that's what they really want you to believe. And saying about this scripture, Philippians chapter 2. You know, verse 9, 9 and 10, you know what I'm saying? This, this scripture is going to apply in the kingdom. It's not going to apply on this side because you because you see the wickedness is constantly, is, 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 you know, is going on each and every day. And the wickedness is getting worse and worse and worse, you know, in each passing day. Because on this side, people reject the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh because uh, you think that uh some people you think that people are gonna buy out to some blonde hair, blue eyed, you know, blonde hair, blue eyed white man, you bet you won't think again because what this what the the pe person that, that's gonna be bowed down to in the kingdom of heaven, it's gonna be a so called Negro. And his name is Yahweh Shahamashia. And, and that name Yahweh Shahamashia you know, every knee is going to bow. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because Yahweh Shahamashiach, when he comes back, he's going to come back as a conquering king. He's not going to come back as, as the, as, as, you know what I'm saying, as a man. You know what I'm saying? Let, let, let's get there because Yahweh Shah is going to come back as a conquering king. And in the name of Yahweh Shahamashiach, every knee is going to bow. You know what I'm saying? Every knee, and, and, and not only the Israelites, you know what I'm saying, law going to be written in our inward parts. So we ain't going to have no problem bowing down to, to uh, your house, your house, your We're going to be the other nation that's going to have a problem. But they ain't going to have no choice. Because guess what? You know what? They're going to have to bow. Why are they going to have to bow? You know, because your house, your house, 
when he comes back, he's going to come back and he's going to smite the nations. He's going to take them down. You know what I'm saying? And let's get that in Revelation 19. You know what I'm saying? Because because, he, because these people have a problem with that. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. It's, uh, okay. See if I can find it real quick. Cause he cause he he's gonna make work against these other nations, man. I believe Revelation 20, if I'm not mistaken. So locking for that. Cause these other nations gonna be uh they they gonna be take, taken down, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They they're they're going to be taken down. Because he's gonna come back. He, he, this nineteen, he's, he's gonna be taking down these other nations. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find the scripture where I want to know it. Yeah, how I will. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna start at uh, eleven, Revelation chapter nineteen, verse eleven. And I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse, which is a, that's a chariot, and he that sat upon him called that was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. And who is that? That's your house, Shah Machiah. That's when he's gonna come back to take down these other nations. Verse twelve, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his head was many crowns. And that means that he's gonna come back. He's gonna come. He's gonna take down all these nations. You know what I'm saying? That that ruler, especially he saw even so called white man, he's taking he gonna take down his kingdom. And every kingdom that joined itself unto them, he's gonna take them down. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name was was called the word of, of Yahweh. And the armies which were in heaven followed followed him upon white, uh, white horses. Clothed and fine linen, white and clean. They're talking about he's gonna, he gonna have the host of heaven, which are the angels, and they they all gonna be following uh, your house, your chariots, man. You know what I'm saying? They they gonna come back and, and they gonna they gonna come and take down this kingdom. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is verse 15, and it said, and out of his mouth goeth this sharp sword, that with it he shall he shall smite the nations, and he shall and he shall. Shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty Power. It mean that he's gonna come back and he's going to take down these other nations. You know what I'm saying? Because these other nations, you know, for you Christians out there, these other nations, as well as the wicked two third Israelites, they ain't gonna they ain't gonna bow down to your house, shall you know they ain't gonna bow down to the name of Jesus. Christ, which we know that's a false name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because in their mind, they believe that, that all these nations are going to bow down to a white, uh, blonde head, blue eyed white man. But guess what? That's not going to be the case at all. Because when your house shot comes back, he's going to come back come back as a pissed off Negro. You know what I'm saying? If you read uh, Isaiah chapter 47, you know, to the point in verse 3, he said he's going he to take vengeance and he's not going to meet thee as a man. That means that your house, when your house has much, you come back. He's gonna come back in the full. He's gonna come back in the full of power, man. He's gonna come back in his angelic form. And, and, and guess what? And he's gonna come back. And he's gonna take down these nations, and including and which the number one target is the South Asian so-called white man. But the, the place that he's gonna, his biggest target, he's gonna take down. He's gonna be Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? Because his place reigns over the kings of the earth, man. And he's going to take this place down. And, and for you people out there, you think that uh, there's going to be some long hair, blue eyed, long hair, blue eyed person that's going to come, that's going to come back. And he's going to gather all nation together, and and everything will be back to normal. You 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 you're going to, you're going to be uh you're going to be very disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Every knee is going to bow, man. It's not going to be no blonde-haired, blue-eyed person. You 
going to be very disappointed if you think that, that that's going to be the case. No, sir, no, ma'am. That's not going to be the case at all. Because guess what? Every knee is going to bow to your house out of Marciac, man. You know what I'm saying? It gonna, every knee is going to bow down to the, you know, he's going to be looking like a so-called Negro. And guess what? Every nation is going to bow down to him. That, that's point blank, period. You're going to buy, buy down to the power of Israel. It, it ain't going to be no if, ands, or buts about it. And there ain't going to be no questions about it. You know, you, you know, you know every, every knee is going to bow. And, and, and for you two-thirds out there, you thinking that somebody's going to bow down to some uh, uh, blonde hair and blue-eyed uh, 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 infant got life messed up. Now get what? You, you're going to you, you're gonna bow down to your house out in Montreal when you get reborn in the kingdom. And as well as everybody else when they get reborn in the kingdom, get what? The other nations too, they're going to bow down because they, they, they ain't going to be no other power like our power. Because they they going to be no name like any other name. The name your house out in Montreal. You know what I'm saying? That's the name above every name. It's it not Jesus Christ. It's not Yehoshua. It's not Yehudah. Yehudah. It's your house out of Mashiach. You know what I'm saying? Every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess. That means every tongue, man. And earth or under the earth, man. Means that every tongue is going to confess that name. And that what? You, you need to, you want to know the name. Might what you used to all you heathen nations, y'all going you all gonna know the name. You gonna know the name of your house out my child. Every time you every time you hear that name, it's gonna strike fear in your heart, man. You gonna you're gonna respect the the Savior of Israel. You're gonna respect the God of Israel, which is your house. You gonna you gonna put some respect on their names, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? Because you because you people, you make mockery of your how and your how shot. Because you, you, you know what I'm saying? You people, you, you want a long haired, blue eyed person to be your Lord. And, and then also among the two third Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they want, they want the long haired, blue eyed Savior to rule over them, man. They, they reject the word of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. And they want the long haired, blue eyed Savior to rule over them. But guess what? You with your two third Israelites? You're going to be disappointed because of the fact of the matter is, is that, that, that you're going to be disappointed because you're going to realize that you got duped by the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? You got duped and believed that that, that you, you're going you're going to be bowing down to to some blonde-haired, blue-eyed savage. Eight hours and zero but minutes guess what? Of That's not going to be the case time. at all. Let's get back. Let's get back to the feature scripture. Yeah. Salaki, and this Philippians chapter two, and and, and we're gonna and this this Philippians chapter two, and and this is uh, and, and this is uh, uh, we're gonna go as we're gonna go and start in verse eight. The point is in uh in uh I said in ten, but we're gonna start at eight. And it reads, and, and being and being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even to the even the death of the cross. And they're talking about when your house shall die, you know, he died for Israel. He didn't die for all the nations, he only died for the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got people believing. That you know, they read John three sixteen, and they believe they that they, they, uh, the Savior, Yahweh Child Marsha, died for every nation that's that, that's on the planet. But no, he uh, he died for the Israelites, but mainly for the elect of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Because you, if you got ears to hear, you'll hear, you'll understand. But everybody does not have ears to hear. You know what I'm saying? Because in their mind, they believe that that. Uh, that your house shall die for every 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 person up on the planet, man. And yeah, well, that's not the case at all. He only died for the Israelites. But 
remaining the elect of Israel. You know, but let's let's keep going. And this is uh verse nine. It reads, Wherefore Yahweh had highly exalted him and Stand given him a name which is above Christ. every name. And and that name is not Jesus Christ for for you Christians out there. If you look up the name Jesus in the in Latin, the name the name Jesus means earth pig. You know, for for those who don't know. Because if you if you still calling upon the name of Jesus, you calling you calling us on a false God because that false God is not going to save you in the time of Jacob's trouble. That false God is not going to deliver you when all hell starts breaking loose, man. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know the name, and you're not trying to call upon the name, guess what? You 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 going you going to find you going to find out. Real quickly, that that name you call on Jesus Christ, he, he's not going he's not gonna save you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture tells us, I believe it's in the song, uh, and then it's in, I believe it's in Proverbs, if I'm not mistaken. You know, brother, to correct me on that. It says, it says that what what is his name? What is his son's name? If I can't tell, because it's very important to know the name, and that name is in Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? It's not in English, his name is in Hebrew. And the name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? It's in Hebrew. You know, for, for, for you people that don't know, for those who are just waking up in the truth. The name is Yahweh and his name is Yah and the son's name is Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because it not, because the name of Yahweh Shah is gonna be exalted above every name that's upon the face of the planet, man. Because why? Because your house shot died for, for Israel, you know what I'm saying? And, and he didn't have any sin. You know what I'm saying? He died, you know, he died sinless. You know, he done he done everything that his father told him to do perfectly. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why that name is gonna be exalted above every name. And in verse ten it reads, and it's the name of Yahweh shot, you know, not Jesus, because like I said, if you look up the name Jesus in the uh, Latin that means earth pig, so not it's uh, not the name of Jesus. It's your house shot. Let's read again, verse ten, Philippians two and ten. That at the name of your house shot of Mashiach, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shah Hamashah is Lord to the glory of Yahweh thy power. That means that every knee, that every knee is going to bow. And when, when this is going to take place, it's going to take place in the kingdom. Because in, in on this side, man, right now you got wickedness that's taking place. And the only people that's bowing down to the name and they're surrendering to the name is the elect of Israel or the house of Israel. Because all the other nations, they laugh at the name of Yahweh Shah Mashah. They, you know what I'm saying? They reject that name. Even two thirds of our people, even the two thirds of our people, they reject the name of Yahweh Shah Mashah. They reject the name because when you, because you, when you come in that name, you know what I'm saying? People, people, uh, people reject that name. They laugh and they scoff at that name, and, and that's the real name of the Father and of the Son. You know. But you got you got two thirds of our people. They they reject their name. So when they talk when this scripture this scripture applies to the kingdom, you know what I'm saying? That every knee is gonna bow. But on this side, you know, only the elect is bound down to the name of Yah your house, Yah March, Yah Black. Uh, yeah, on this side, every, the elect is on the bow down to your house, Mashiach, yeah, the elect of Israel. But in the kingdom, every every knee is going to bow, every tongue is going to confess. It, and yeah, the enemy is going to confess out the most high, going to put the most high, put that whooping on them. Your house, is going to put that, put that butt whooping on them. And the kingdom, they're going to bow. Because they ain't going to have no choice. And they ain't going to have no choice. To worship, but to worship your house, shall my You know, your house and your house, shall. Because scripture said that they, you know, saying they're going to come up once a year to serve the king. 
And who was that? Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Yahweh Shah. They want to come up and worship the king. And it goes on to say if they, if they don't come up, you know, to worship the king, you know what I'm saying? Scrooge said it's going to be commanded that they, they, they're not going to get any rain. So I can. Why is that? Because, because guess what? They 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 gonna have to bow down. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna have no choice. And also in the kingdom, they ain't gonna be worshiping their own God, man. You know what I'm saying? All that's gonna cease and desist in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Because in because in the kingdom, you, it ain't gonna be no other gods. Ain't no, it ain't gonna be no other gods in the kingdom. Every knee's gonna bow to your house, shall march, y'all. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? For you Christians out there, you're not know, gonna talk about no blonde hair, blue eyed white man. So so get that image out. You need to get that image out image out of your head right now. It's not talking about it's not talking about him. It's talk it's talking about the, the, the you know, the so called Negro that you that you despise and that you don't want you don't want to rule. You know what I'm saying? Even two thirds of our people, they don't want your house child to rule over them. That's the reason why in the book of Luke it said that my enemies that they would not want me to reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna have you're gonna have a lot of people gonna get slain by your house shadow martial, man. I'm, I'm talking about on this side. Because because they ain't gonna they they ain't gonna refuse to they refuse to bow, man. They refuse to acknowledge. Yahweh shall march out. He is King of Kings and, he, and he's Lord of Lords, man. And and and, he, and these other uh, these other nations, they refuse to bow, especially two thirds of our people, because two thirds of our people, they don't want Yahweh shall march out to rule, man. They want blonde hair, blue, blue eyed Jesus to rule over them. Get what? They gonna get slain with the sword too, because get what? They you know because two thirds of Israel. You know what I'm saying? On this side, they consider the Lord's enemies, man. Because they don't want uh they don't want the Lord to rule over them. And and every why the scripture said in Luke nineteen, I believe, it said that my enemies that that will not allow, want me to reign over them, bring them here and slay them before me. Because because uh on this side your house shall have enemies and people don't and and, and, and they don't want uh your house shall rule over them. You know what I'm saying, and and that's the reason why when you read when you read uh, Philippians chapter two verse nine to ten, it makes it makes it, it makes it clear, man. When you get the understanding, because in the, it's gonna be in the kingdom that the name your house shall or my shall every knee is gonna bow. You know what I'm saying? Every knee is gonna bow down to your house shall my shall because because these other nations they gonna be taken out of power. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be taken out of their rulership. So guess what? They ain't going to have no trust but to buy down to your house, child, march yard. Now, it, 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 it ain't going gonna to be no choice. They're going to have to. Because, they, because if, they, if they don't, as the scriptures say, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to get any rain. You know what I'm saying? You know, something, you know what I'm saying? going to have to. Because guess what? They ain't going to have no, they ain't gonna have much of a choice. Your house, your house, your house, your house, your house. You know what I'm saying? You come back to take down and put your king. And, and anything that's standing in the way, it won't get moved on the line here. And anybody that thinks that they're going to uh, stop the stop and stop the rulership, they're going to have a long time on the other because your house got to come back, you, you're going to need a job. And, and, and everything is going to bow in the kingdom, so you better believe it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know that everything is not going to bow on this side, man, because people continue to live and do it. They continue to live and do what they want to do. So you, you know that talk not talking about this side, man. Because every day I'm going to bow on this side to your house, out of my shop, you know. Or you, you, you got two thirds of our people, they still buy down the white Jesus, man. Because you can't, when you come down the white Jesus, they, you can't tell our people nothing, man. They, they're swept down the white Jesus, they just, they just pray to white Jesus. Oh, white Jesus, save me. Oh, white Jesus, cure my disease and all this, 
and all that. You know what I'm saying? But what we know that Jahal Child marched out, he, he killed and he made some law. Uh, and he's the only man he here. You know what I'm talking about? He all fought you and all the He does what he's saying, man. He, he's not white cheese. White cheese don't get no prison, man. He can't. You know what I'm saying? That's an image that, that he, he might have made up. And our people fell for the open door, man. And they bowed down to the people. Guess what? They be you know what I'm saying? All that's going to change when your house shot comes back. And once the king be established, you know what I'm saying? The Israelites, we ain't going to have no problem bowing down to your house shot, my shot. Because we know that's our power, man. We know that your house shot, your house shot, my shot, your house shot, your house shot, is our power, man. We ain't going to have no problem because the law's going to be written out here with God. We're going to be walking perfectly. We're going to be walking in unison with your house shot. Uh, shit, you know, but we don't have no problem bowing down. We don't have no problem worshiping the king, the king, the Lord, the Lord. You know what I'm saying? With these other nations, they gonna, they gonna have to bow. They ain't gonna have no choice. It ain't gonna be no, you know, you, you can or you can't. They ain't gonna have no choice. Because your outside is gonna take them out of power, man. It's gonna take them out of power. And, and you know what? They gonna go back to their the, the servitude state. That's what it's gonna be. You know, he he saw he didn't come by down the aisle shot my shot. You know what I'm saying? He he's gonna bow even though he don't want to, but he ain't gonna have no choice. But he's gonna be taken out of the root shield. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why you see them doing a lot of things that they do, because they know they know what time it is, man. They know what time it is. And they, they, they also don't want to bow down to the children of Israel to if they hate it, get the spies and want to get rid of the bar. They would be bowing down to them also, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially those of them are tight, man. You know what I'm saying? Because in Revelation 3 and 9, you know, it goes on saying, you know, but to paraphrase, you know, you're going to make, you know, make them bow, bow down and get to a feet. Be that, you know, that they're going to know who the true children of Israel is. And nevertheless, we're going to get back on the point. That every day you're going to bow, every time you're going to confess that your house shall have watched you out here in the Lord, man. Every day you're going to bow. You know, they ain't going to be a fan of the ones who bow you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That is just what it is. And I pray that the lesson will be identified. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to your house. I want to give all shame, your house shall have watched you out here in the Lord, man. Over hundred to the apostle of the great building. Now respect to the world teaching and preaching the truth all over the world worldwide. See you again with the uh, lesson of this on the hour with it. Shalom, Abba Baal, and Kwame Asherali. Shalom.